Arjun now. So as we know in yesterday's class we have studied uh, pure rolling. So if you have taken the pure rolling, so most probably the surface or the platform with respect to ground is always in stationary. So if it is in stationary, so we all know that angular velocity, if it is a pure rolling, what is angular velocity everybody? Angular velocity is equals to Vcom divided by R. And same way, angular acceleration is equals to ACOM divided by R. If platform velocity is not zero, if the platform is also having some velocity, and here the platform is also having some acceleration, then we all know that what is an angular velocity formula, everybody? If it is a platform is having some velocity, please respond. So we all studied that angular acceleration, angular velocity is equals to velocity of a center of mass minus velocity of a platform divided by r. Am I right? R. Now, same way, by the time, what is angular acceleration? Everybody, angular acceleration is equal to, please. Yes, please. Angular acceleration is equal to, we have studied that. Uh, center, acceleration of center of mass divided by uh, minus acceleration of platform divided by r. So this is what is the one which we have studied that 98% of cases it is uh, true always. So we have taken like a uh, rolling rolling motion over a car, moving car, whose acceleration is A0 and uh, the acceleration of center of mass is AC. So I think you remember everyone and angular acceleration is alpha. Am I right girl, all of you? Yes, yes please. Sir. Yeah. So now from here we are going to continue now. So who else is missing? I don't know. Mr. Morale is there. Morale is not there. And Pradeep is not there. <laughs> who else? Rohit is there. Yeah. So we'll proceed. So now we are going to study. Let me take now for example, if any kind of uh, body, which is what is like a disc or a sphere or a uh, ring or whatever it is, having a velocity and it is... Uh, moving on a surface which is actually frictionless surface. Why I am considering frictionless surface? So all of you observe very carefully. If there is no sufficient amount of friction, now is it possible to roll the body? That is what I am asking. Anybody? All of you? Yes, please respond. If you, if you take it as a frictionless surface, keep it in mind, it is impossible to roll the object. So always it will lead to, if there is no friction, what will happen guys? We all people also, when we are walking, if there is no friction, what will happen? It will lead to, instead of walking, what will happen? Everyone, we all people, what will experience? We will, if there is no friction, if you are walking on an oil surface and all, what will happen, guys? Are you people are able to walk? Yeah, you people will be skidding. That's what will happen. If there is no frictional surface, if it is a frictionless surface, then it will not possible to roll the object. It will be leads to skid the skidding. So that is why, Whenever, if you are able to roll, keep it in mind, if any kind of object is rolling due to applying force or whatever it is, then definitely if the object is able to roll, is only because of what? Anybody? Due to friction. friction. If there is no friction, then what will happen, brothers? It will be leads to skidding only. That, that is not call it as a friction. So, sorry, rolling. So now we all know that if, so for example, if any kind of offset is rolling with a velocity V, rolling with velocity V means definitely there is applied force. So the point of contact to the surface, so it is a frictionless surface or friction surface, everybody. Yes, please. It is a friction surface, means it is a real surface or it is a rough surface. So we all know that velocity of this particle also V, so that by this time there is a frictional force. Frictional force always act what direction, everybody? Frictional force will act in the what direction? It will always act. Frictional force will act always opposite to the yes, direction please. of motion. Direction of motion. If the direction of motion is like this, then the frictional force will act in what direction? Everybody. Force of friction, which will act in the backward direction. So that is what it is. Means it will be acting in this direction. That is what angular velocity, angular velocity will act in this direction. Rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise it is. Yes, please. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? It is rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise, guys? It is? Clockwise or anti-clockwise, Ra? It is clockwise. rotating clockwise. clockwise. So now, 
In this case, if you have taken, so if it is a rough surface, all of you remember due to the friction only, it is possible to roll the offset. So we all know that if the force F is applied on this case, so can you tell me what is the torque created by the surface or rolling object? If it is a due to friction, torque is equals to, yes brothers, let me take the radius is R, then tell me what is the torque is equals to, make it quick everyone. Torque is equals to R into F. Yeah. In the formula R we can say tau is equals to Rf and from we all know that our uh, next one another formula tau and angular velocity formula can you tell me tau tau is equals to I alpha from that alpha is equals to angular acceleration is equals to what are? yes please alpha angular acceleration is equals to inertia divided okay. by sorry tau divided by inertia understanding yes. So now it is a clockwise or anti-clockwise, everybody. It is the clockwise. So why it is clockwise? What is the importance and all? We all people know. So all of you observe very carefully. So if if you are taking whatever it is, either it is angular acceleration or angular angular velocity or whatever it is, so all of you keep it in mind, it is only because of what? Everybody? Because of friction. Do you understand it? So due to friction only, it is always... Uh, rolling is possible. So now if you have taken two formulas, I will say you. So one is V is equals to R omega. And next one is, all of you, alpha is equals to I divided by, sorry, tau divided by uh, I. That is what torque divided by I. Now you tell me, so all of you observe very carefully, V is equals to R omega. From that I will take R, R you can take, yeah, R is equals to V, sorry, it is not. So all of you observe very carefully, if velocity is keep on increases, then what about the angular velocity? Anybody can tell me? If the velocity increases, what about the angular velocity? Yes, please. Decreases or increases? Sir. So now I am saying, you remember always, if velocity increases, angular velocity will decrease. If velocity decreases, angular velocity, what will happen? Address, sir. Angular velocity will increase. So both are inversely proportional to each other. Please note it, everybody. If whenever the velocity of the particle is increasing, then angular velocity will keep on decreases. If velocity of the particle is decreasing, the sorry, object is decreasing, then angular velocity will increases. So that is what it will be happening. So now, if you have taken very carefully, let me take it now. If you all observe very carefully, so due to the friction, so we all know that it is causing for pure rolling. So if I take the pure rolling due to the friction, if it let me imagine it is moving with angular velocity omega and angular, uh, sorry, velocity of center of mass is V, then the point of contact where it is touching the surface. So can you tell me what is that V, v is equals to? Anybody? V is equals to, we all people know, V is equals to R omega. R omega. R omega. That is v and the frictional force, frictional force is equals to what? Force of friction is equals to what guys? That is equals to R omega. Am I right or wrong? Please respond. All of you. Correct or address? Sir? So that is what it is. So if you have taken the net speed, net speed of it, what will become? The point of contact. What is the net speed? This is also R omega and this is also R omega. Both are V minus R omega is equals to, that is what frictional force is equals to zero. V means R omega and this is also R omega which is equals to zero. So what is the net, net speed is equals to? Point of contact. Everybody. Point of contact net speed is equals to what guys? Zero. Do you understand? It? So that is what we used to call it as. What is the case we used to say? Pure rolling. So if you want to make the pure rolling, please keep it in mind. You need frictional surface or friction surface. Everybody? You need it? Always? Yes, please. Frictional. frictional surface. So friction of the surface is only causing for pure rolling. That is what you have to remember. Are you clear, everyone? Yes? Please make it. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. So this is what it is. So frictionless surface will never leads to rolling, pure rolling. Frictionless surface always leads to skid. Only friction, due to the friction only, it is possible to roll over the object. Any kind of disc or it is a sphere or it is a, a ring or whatever it is. It is rotates only because of friction. That is what you have to remember. I hope you all understand. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. Are you clear, everybody? Yes? Brothers? Understand? So now, the question which I am going to discuss you now, this is the most important question. Once if you understand this question, then 
this is like this this concept whatever the question will come you will be able to understand so here we are going to introduce many concepts what we studied till now like vectors and motion in a one dimension or many things so let me take now let me consider now disk whose mass is capital m and whose radius is r so let us consider and work along with me so that it is easy to make it so i am considering uh disk whose radius is r and whose mass is m and angular velocity sorry velocity of a center of mass is v naught are you clear everybody so now and i am taking as as a radius is r what is the radius everybody r as we know that who is causing pure rolling everybody friction or frictionless surface everyone who is causing rolling friction so friction means there will be a coefficient what is the symbol of frictional coefficient anybody what is the symbol of frictional coefficient mu do you remember anybody all of you yes sir yes so let me take the coefficient of friction is mu so this is what it is now so if i take a now for example this is the position now can you tell me what is the angle between the surface and this radius anyone surface and the radius what is the angle all of you just i'm asking how much is the angle yes please what is the angle over there 90 degrees now 90 degrees. after certain time after certain time be very careful after certain time due to the friction or whatever it is the velocity of this disk will become v so velocity changes from where to where rudraswar velocity changes from v not to v not to v after certain time you understand sai garde prince now what is the question is and angular velocity let me take angular velocity is omega okay now we all knows that angular velocity is equals to v by r means it is indicating what yes please it is indicating what it is v by r guys it is indicating what it is pure rolling pure rolling do you understand it no slipping at all so no slipping no forward slipping no backward slipping after certain time period of t okay so the body comes to the pure rolling so now the question is calculate what is that v that is what is the question so initially velocity of the body is v not now after certain time velocity become v that is what by the time the body attains what everybody by the time body attains the pure rolling do you understand brother oh. now they are asking what is the velocity v after obtaining the pure rolling option a v not by 3 option b v not by 2 option c 2 v not by 3 option d 3 v not by 2 so these are the four options let me teach you all try to observe and then we'll uh, you will try to do it okay later now for example let me take it now so this is a, let me take it's a lengthy process let me solve it and later we will see the shortcut for some other question so that you will understand same question you have to solve it in a shortcut way and you have to send me also so let me consider now initially initial case alone so initial case what is the velocity everybody speak loudly what is the initial velocity v not yeah v not so by that time we all knows that there is a frictional force because coefficient is given what is the frictional force formula frictional force formula f is equals to speak loudly it is moving guys so it is a kinetic yeah. friction or static friction already it is moving kinetic is it friction or static everybody it is a kinetic friction so kinetic friction what is the formula mu into n mu into n means what ra n means what n is equals to everybody mg am i right or wrong yes please respond yes, sir. mg so that is what it is so we all knows that now so if the body is moving forward with the velocity v okay now it is moving a frictional force f is equals to mu n that is what mu mg now if you observe very carefully now the body is making clockwise or anti clockwise everybody make it quick and tell all of you clockwise or anti clockwise all of you yes please yes please clockwise or anti clockwise body is making what rotation clockwise or anti clockwise everybody clockwise or anti clockwise 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 so clockwise means negative or positive clockwise means negative negative or it is acceleration if it is anti clockwise means acceleration is what everybody positive, positive. now positive. let me take the what is the acceleration of this body so acceleration of this body is equals to so we all knows that force by mass is the acceleration am i right everybody f is equals to ma a is equals to f by m now you tell me this is negative acceleration or positive acceleration because friction is exerting so it is a clockwise so negative or positive everybody it is negative negative that means what f means what mu mg capital m minus divided by capital m 
So capital M and capital M will get cancelled. So what is the acceleration of the body initially? Everybody? Mu G. Minus mu C. Understand everybody? Now, when the body will attain the omega is equals to V by R. By that time, what is the condition? Everybody, we all know that. It is what everybody? It is the pure rolling. So why I am asking you? They are asking us to calculate the velocity, final velocity. So that is what is our target. That's why we are doing this one. So all of you observe very carefully now. Make it. So we all know that by using a first equation of motion, V is equals to U plus AT. So if I apply it, what is the initial velocity? Final velocity is what? V. What is the initial velocity? Check the figure and tell me. What is the initial velocity? Everybody. V naught. Am I right? Speak loudly, Ra. Initial velocity yes, is what? V naught plus acceleration. Just now we got it. What is the acceleration? Minus mu C into T. Clear everybody? So V is equals to V naught minus mu C T. So this is what is the final velocity. But our options are 2 V naught by V naught by 3, V naught by 2, 2 V naught by 3, 3 V naught by 2, like that it is there. So let us make it everybody. So first of all, observe very carefully. It is given not given given thing is a what, everyone? All of you. It is a what actually? Disc. Let me respond. Disc it is. So disc, if it is a disc, so we all know that. Let me take initial angular. What is angular velocity initially? It is perpendicularly, it is present on the surface. Can you tell me? Velocity is V naught. So what is the initial angular angular velocity? It is perpendicular, it is existed. So initial angular velocity before going to start. Velocity is V naught. So what is the initial angular velocity? Zero. Zero. Final angular velocity is omega. And if there is an angular velocity, then definitely there is angular acceleration also. So we want to make it that also. So what is the angular, initial angular velocity? Initial angular velocity is zero. Final angular velocity is omega. Then alpha is equals to, how to find it? We all people know that tau is equals to r into alpha. So from that we can say tau is equals to R means R. F means what, guys? What is the force exerted? You got it. F is equals to what? Mu M. Yes, please. F is mu equals M. to what? Mu M G. That is what is the tau. So we all know that alpha is equals to tau by I. So tau is equals to R into mu into G divided by I value. Can you tell me, Rudras, fastly? What is the I value of a disk? Yes, Pradosh? Disk I value. I value of a disk. Everybody. Discra MR square by 2. MR square by 2. So I will substitute it MR square by 2. So R square R will get cancelled. MM will get cancelled. 2 will go up. Can you tell me what is that everybody? Fastly, alpha is equals to alpha is equals to 2 mu G divided by R. Am I right, everyone? Will you all agree with me? Yes, please. Respond. Everybody? Yes. Please respond, guys. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this tau is positive or not, we have to find it. So, observe very carefully here. Now, the force is exerting in the backward direction. That is what is the force. And actually, the radius is, uh, that is what is tau. Now, R cross V, if I take it, of course, there is now. Now, you tell me. So, the angle between them is, of course, 90. Now, if you apply that right-hand thumb rule. Now, you tell me R cross V, if you apply. So, what will happen, guys? The, the force is exerting in this direction. That's what imagine like velocity, moving velocity. Uh, like angular velocity if i go r cross r cross that it is acting the thumb is acting into the word r cross f you go with that so r cross f if you go what will happen guys tau is equals to r cross f so apply the right hand thumb rule if you apply that it will come inwards or outwards check it everybody right hand thumb rule you apply and tell me everybody r cross f if i apply that inwards or outwards r cross v everybody R cross V, it is acting into the screen or out of the screen. Verify it and tell me. Apply right hand thumb rule. Place all your four fingers at the R. Now you act. Four fingers is rotating towards the F. R cross F. Yes, Pradosh? R cross F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acting. It is acting inwards or outwards. No. Everybody? Clockwise, guys. It is inwards or outwards? Inwards. Inwards. Yeah. Understanding? So inwards means torque is what? Positive or negative? Inwards. Positive. Positive. Understanding? So that is what you have to remember it. Now you can see. So we all know that actually we want to find V. We already got the final velocity. What is the final velocity, everybody? V is equals to V naught minus mu GT. But the problem is here, we don't know time period. So to calculate the time period only, we are applying uh, these many things and we are calculating it. So now, 
So we all knows that time we don't know. So let us see how to find the time. So we all knows that first equation V is equals to U plus AT, but we don't know. We cannot find the time now with the help of angular velocity. We can find angular final angular velocity is equals to initial angular velocity plus angular acceleration into time. So now you can see what is the final acceler angular acceleration omega initial acceleration zero. What is the alpha value? Just now we found it. What is the alpha value? Everybody. Value, 2 mu z divided by r into t. So now from that, can you tell me what is the t is equals to? Anybody? Yes, please. t is equals to r will come this side. Yes, please. Respond. r will come. Anyhow, r will come this side. r into omega divided by 2 into mu z. Will you all agree with me? Everybody? Or else, let me take it. This is wrong. Let me take, we all know by this time it attains the pure velocity, yeah, sorry, pure rolling. So pure rolling means V is equals to what, guys? Sorry, angular velocity is equals to what? Pure rolling. Angular velocity means what? All of you? Yes, please. Pure rolling angular velocity is equals to what? V by R. Am I right or wrong? So I will replace it. V by R is equals to 2 mu Z divided by R into T. So both the sides, can I get to cancel the RR? Everybody? RR will get cancelled. So can you tell me what is the V is equals to? Anybody? Yes, please. V oh, is equal to 2 UG, 2 UGT. I want to T. So T is equals to what, guys? T is equals to V into, sorry, V divided by 2 mu G. Mu G is not UG, mu G. So this is what the time period. Now you can substitute in the first equation. So the equation what we got the final velocity. V naught minus T, sorry, mu GT. Uh, mu g t. Now I'll replace the t v naught minus mu g into in place of t what I can write v divided by 2 mu g. So mu g mu g will get cancelled. Answer is v naught minus v by 2 which is equals to so what will happen everybody which is equals to v. So I will take it now. So v naught is equals to okay v naught is equals to v plus v by 2 which is equals to what is answer ra? speak loudly everybody v naught is equals to 3v by 2. So v is equals to everybody. 2 v naught divided by 3. So three. this is the final answer. So this is the velocity of a body when it will attain. By this time, it will be attains the what motion? Pure, pure rolling. It is indicating that omega, omega is equals to v naught divided by r. So v naught naught, v divided by r, v center of mass. That is what it is. So once again, I'll explain you see. So they are asking the question that a body is having the initial velocity V naught, okay, V naught and a friction surface it is moving. So that if you have noticed it here, so as it is initial angular acceleration is zero, angular velocity. Now after a certain time period of T, we don't know the time period also. So then what is happening? The body is attaining the velocity V by the time the angular velocity become V by R, means it will attain the pure rolling. So they are asking us to calculate the final velocity. What velocity the body attains the pure rolling? That is what is our target. So for this, they have given you the options. Now you can see it's very simple. So we are calculating. We all know that if the body is moving with a velocity V, there is a force exerting to bring the velocity from V naught to what? Everybody. To bring the velocity V naught to. Yes, please respond. V naught to V. And who is actually exerting? The force is exerting. This force only causes to reduce or increase the velocity from V naught to V. Of course, there is a frictional force always decreasing only. So then the body is attaining the pure rolling. So that is why first we are finding the friction. Friction, we all people know mu mg. So from that, we want to find by using first equation of motion, you can solve. We all will get the V is equals to U plus AT. So here we are having two unknown things, of course. Initial velocity is V naught, we all people know. But A we don't know and T also we don't know. That is the reason first with the help of with the help of uh, frictional force, we are finding the A formula. A is equals to minus mu z. And, but if you want to find the time period, we all people know. Again, we have to use the first equation. So if you want to use the first equation, so again the same thing. So but here it is actually, so V, my, v minus U, you can take it V minus U divided by A which is equals to T. So, but this is the what? For normal, but it is a rotational motion. So that what will happen? Equation will be modified. 
in a final angular angular velocity is equals to initial angular velocity plus alpha into t so again the same problem so alpha means angular acceleration acceleration enga theriyum angular acceleration theriyad so angular acceleration how we can find with the help of torque formula so torque we all knows that torque is equals to r into f and alpha is equals to torque by i so we all knows disc i what is the inertia of a disc mr square by 2 so i am using that and i am finding first alpha alpha finding after i am finding the t so i got the t so i substituted now t in play in the first equation i will get it v is equals to 2v not by 3 so this is the method which we will solve a lengthy method of calculating the velocity which is attained now let us solve the shortcut method for this one so but when i am teaching this is also looks very big but once if you understand the concept this is the easiest method which we can solve very fastly okay because the similar question you can solve so let me take now how to how we can solve it as a in a shortcut way shortcut also explain in time it is looks very big but later you will be experience it is very simple okay so let me take they have given that it is a ball who is rotating with the initial velocity what is the initial velocity everybody v not understand everybody and let me take the point of contact is a here and what is the friction surface what is the friction of surfaces mu clear everyone yeah. now after certain time period after certain time period be very carefully by that time angular velocity attains how much angular velocity v by r means yeah. by that time the velocity of a rolling body will become v now the question is still the point of contact it is if it is a pure rolling point of contact velocity is always zero now they are asking what is that velocity when the body attains the pure rolling that is what is they are asking so now in this case if you want to solve like this questions whenever it will attains the pure velocity pure rolling from some velocity to another velocity so we can apply a concept called as conservation of conservation of angular momentum so what is the conservation of angular momentum anybody can tell me what is the formula of conservation of angular momentum initial angular momentum is equals to yes please respond final angular momentum but by the time there is a condition tau external is equals to what tau external zero. is equals to what zero about a axis that is what about a particular axis initial angular momentum is equals to about an axis same axis final angular momentum so then we can say that is called as angular momentum is conserved that is what we will say conservation of angular momentum conservation of angular momentum so now observe very carefully and tell me let me take the first point if i take initially very simple it is its explanation it looks very big but later you will understand it so all of you observe the weight of the weight of the disc which is acting downward direction what is that everybody weight of the disc everybody weight of the disc is acting yeah. downward direction m g am i right or wrong and there is a force of friction which is acting now the angular moment of a point of contact if you notice it here the angular moment first let me take now tau uh, tau about the point of contact what is that guys external for external tau external is equals to what about a point of contact yes please whatever it is tau is always external tau external torque is equals to yeah. always what zero clear everybody now if i take as we know that the velocity of this contacting point is always we all people know so v is equals to r omega then only it is call it as a pure rolling so if you notice here the angular vela angular momentum of that point of contact angular moment of that point of contact is always remains constant so please remember the angular momentum of a point of contact uh, point of uh, contact is always remains constant contact so about this point only we are going to write the conservation of momentum so angular momentum initial angular momentum about a point a is equals to final final angular momentum about a point a it is because remains constant means energy is remains sorry angular momentum remains what conserved angular momentum remains conserved so let me take now initially so we all knows that can you tell me what is the angular momentum formula angular momentum formula yesterday also we have studied it is a rotational plus 
rotational plus translation motion. Okay. Angular momentum formula is Rudreswa. R into linear momentum plus I into angular moment, angular velocity. This is what is the angular momentum formula. Am I right, guys? See it and tell me. Yes, sir. Everybody, that is what. Now, if you have noticed it, initially the angular angular moment, angular velocity is zero. So that this initial initial angular momentum about this point, if you have noticed it, first let me take this one. So if I go with that now, so R cross, R cross F, if I go with that, it is, yes, R cross, R cross F, you apply the right hand thumb rule and tell me, it is a clockwise or anti-clockwise, everybody. It is a clockwise or anti-clockwise, everyone, it is the clockwise. So if it is a clockwise means, yes, please, it is a clockwise means negative or positive or everybody. Clockwise means it is negative. Clear everybody? So negative. So what is happening everyone? All of you check it. Here if I notice it here. So R cross P. Anyhow I omega will become 0 at the initial. 0. And this is remaining. So negative. R means R. Capital R. Capital R. And mass. You can see R cross P. P means what? What do you mean by P? P means what guys? Mass into velocity. So what is the initial velocity? What is the initial velocity? V naught. So R minus R M V naught plus zero, which is equals to final after certain time. What is the angular velocity? Omega is equals to V by R and the velocity attained by the body is V. Now they are asking what is this V? So now it is already moving. So now this is also what? Here is the R now. So tell me clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Everybody. It is also clockwise. Means it is also what? Negative or positive? Everybody? Yes, please. Negative. Capital M into V into R. Here capital M into R into V naught. And this is capital M into V into R. Because here velocity is V. Here velocity is what? V naught. Now I omega. So I minus again clockwise. So it is a minus I. And here velo angular velocity is not zero. So what is the angular velocity? Omega. Clear everyone? Now I will take both you can see minus common R M V naught is equals to minus common R M V plus I omega. So both the cases, both I will get something cancel. What is that can get? Uh, cancel everybody. Minus minus will get cancel. So R M V naught is equals to M V R or whatever it is R M V plus what is the inertia about the about an axis disc guys about an axis disc what is the inertia for those M R square by two clear so M R square by two into what is the omega after rotation pure rolling what is the omega guys what is the omega after rotation everybody after rotation, omega is equals to what? Speak loudly. V by R. Understand R? Rudreswa? So R, R will get cancelled. So what else we have? Anybody can tell? And MM, everywhere MM will get cancelled. And R, R, R also will get cancelled. So what is 